Guys, I just noticed that we have a cart full of brand new toys. You see these guys right here? This is the Codman ICP or intracranial pressure monitoring device. And this is a hell of a lot better than what we used to use. The tried and true Codman ICP Express. Holy cow, let's take a look and see what it's got compared to the old one. All right, guys, I have a whole cartload full of these things. How cool is this? So one of the first things you should notice is the profile is skinny and it's got a pull clamp on it to the back, which is pretty ergonomic. It's got a button on the front, membrane button. Not a big fan of membrane buttons, by the way. And I can tell right here that this membrane button has a, uh, a sticker, adhesive sticker on the front. And that is probably going to lead to some fluid intrusion. Just, it always happens on these. A little bit of fluid will seep down behind and corrode that button. That's a big no-no. But, as far as the device itself, it looks like it's got an LED strip at the top that gives you its condition status, or the patient condition status. I've got the ICP line right here, which runs to your uh, pressure transducer. This one right here, I'm not really sure. I don't know if that's a data out, data in, what's going on with that. USBs, I'm not really sure what you do with those unless that's where you pull your serial data out and that can go to the um, digital medical record. Not very sure. I'm kind of assuming that's the way it is. It's got some cooling ducts at the top and they're facing downward. That's very good. It's gonna prevent fluids from getting inside the unit. You can see right here, it is double insulated. There is no electrical safety on this guy. Um, it is not meant for MR. Fully featured. I'll tell you what, Codman, I expect nothing less. I, I do expect better than that. That membrane power button, that's garbage. I'll tell you right now, that's garbage. But considering the product that it's replacing is this guy, the ICP Express, you can see the pull clamp is an afterthought. It was added on the rear. It's got a serial data out port, very old school. You can see it's got a backlight switch. It's a physical switch on the back. Never had one of those break. Awesome. On the front, notice the membrane switch here. This is all one adhered sticker. Like there is no way fluids can get in right here. And I've never, you know, had to replace one of these, but I have seen them go bad. Again, membrane switches, you know. But at least here I don't have to worry about fluid intrusion. You see, it's very bare bones. But this is the tried and true reliable piece of kit right here. And the one thing that always happens is they always booger up the port. They rip pins off or something like that. The interface is kind of simple. This one here is going to be a touch screen, and I can tell that. Um, is it battery powered? Holy cow. All right. Let's take a look. The Seralink ICP monitor. It's your alarm silence button. All right. Kind of a slow boot up process, isn't it? Still waiting. You can see I got a whole bunch more of them down here. I've never seen one, and I was just walking through. I seen them all on a cart, ready to go, ready to roll out. Very excited about that. A little status indicator for AC mains. So you can see the old display. <laughs> it's dot matrix style uh, segmented display. And here, look at this high res touch screen. You can take a snapshot. Who only knows what all these other features are? Ooh, very good touch screen too. Oh yes, capacitive touch screen by the feel of it. You can see the waveform, your pressure. How awesome is this? You can see your status indicators down here. I like it. Anyway guys, just showing you the evolution of technology in medical. You've got the old tried and true and the new one.